Hi guys, I'm Amy Dabell. I'm your Norwex Independent Consultant. I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna talk all about dishes, our favorite chore, right? So I don't know about you guys, but I used to hate my kitchen sponge. It was the green and yellow one. It was always wet. Sometimes we had the blue one, but they were always wet, always stinky. I was always trying to clean them out. My husband wanted to keep it a little bit longer. I wanted to toss it and get a new one. You know, it was this just constant stinky, stinky sponge in my kitchen sink. And the problem is, is that those wet sponges, they just never dry out. And when you use them to, to do your dishes, they hold on to little particles of food and that those particles of food start rotting inside the sponge and it causes just this bacteria ridden environment that is actually 200,000 times dirtier than a toilet seat. I believe dirtier than a public toilet seat, but I'll have to check that fact. So when I started learning more and more and more about Norwex, I had to become a consultant and just start telling people all about this great stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I use to do my dishes and what products I use, all right? So first of all, I love our Enviro cloth. Our Enviro cloth is my staple in my home. We have a chemical free home. We don't use any um, chemical cleaners whatsoever. Everything we do is physical cleaning, which means you physically remove what's on the surface without any harmful chemicals and you're removing grease, grime, dirt, and 99% of bacteria with water alone. So that is how I use my Enviro cloth. And this is again, my heavy duty cleaner. It is a heavy duty cloth. I get it wet with water and I will clean you know, tables, I will clean bathrooms, uh, I even dust with it sometimes, I'll clean windows, you name it, I'll pair it with our window cloth and go around and do windows, sliders and mirrors, and this is just an amazing cloth. I can also get doorknobs and light switches, get rid of that bacteria, and it's just my go-to, right? But in the kitchen, I do things a little bit differently. The Enviro cloth holds on to everything. It grabs everything and holds on to everything. So it's not the best cloth for using in the kitchen. The two cloths that I use the most in the kitchen are my kitchen cloth, and they do have matching towels, but are my kitchen cloth and my counter cloth. So the counter cloth, as you'll see, is about the size of a paper towel, like one of those strip away paper towels, which I, we don't use paper towels anymore here, which has saved us a, a load of money. But these two cloths have a much different weave than the Enviro cloth, and they're great for food surfaces. So they're great for counters, they're great for after breakfast, after you cook, you know, cleaning up the sink, you know, when there's food on the surface or, you know, things that I'm trying to clean up, these are better than the Enviro cloth. The weave is different. They rinse out easier. They're not as tightly woven. They dry faster. And so for that reason, these are my go-to for just general cleaning in the kitchen. Now I can also clean doorknobs, light switches, and all those other things, and you know, uh, the faucets and all of that, and remove bacteria because these also, like our Enviro cloth, have the backlock technology. Our backlock is our microsilver, the microsilver is embedded in the cloth, and it's there to self-purify the cloth. And when I collect bacteria, that microsilver destroys the bacteria that I have in the cloth. So these are my go-to just in the kitchen for general cleaning, but they're not what I use for dishes. What I use for dishes is you want to use a soap when you're using, when you're doing dishes because soap's going to cut through grease. It's going to cut through all of those other things. I do use the Norwex dish soap, which I'll tell you about that in a second. But what we use um, is we, and I was just doing some dishes in another video, but what we use are the Spiri sponge, which is a non-scratching sponge. Now this does not have backlock. And the reason why is because it's meant to be used with soap. And so you wanna always rinse this out really good when it starts to get dirty. Like I have a dirty one right here. When it starts to get dirty, you can pop that into the dishwasher on the top shelf to clean it. So when I use this to do dishes, I will just get my Norwex dish detergent, which I just happen to have in this little pumper. I'll put a tiny little drop of dish soap on here and I can literally do the entire sink of hand washing dishes. 
So that is one way that we do our dishes. Another thing that we use, which we love so much, is our netted dishcloth. And before I move on to this, our Spiri sponges are really inexpensive. They do come in a box of two and they're non-scratching. So they're great for all your delicate pieces that you're, that you're washing. They're great for, you know, Pampered Chef. They're great for non-stick skillets. And so coming uh, two in a package, you have them for quite some time. I really like them. And again, you wash them by putting them on the top shelf of the dishwasher. Okay, now I'll move on to the netted dishcloth. So the netted dishcloth also does not have backlock in it. So it does not have our micro silver because it's also meant to be used with soap. So you can use this with uh, the Norwex dish soap. You can use this with our cleaning paste. Uh, both the Spiri sponge and the netted dishcloth work fabulous with our cleaning paste. Our cleaning paste is um, your tough kind of elbow grease in the jar. So if I have stains on the bottom of my coffee pot or even my coffee maker, I'll use that cleaning paste or if the glass top stove gets stained up, you know, from over spillage when I'm cooking, I'll use a little cleaning paste on either my Spiri sponge or my netted dishcloth. And here's how much I get. The cleaning paste is actually hard. So you just get it, you use a wet cloth or sponge and that's all you need is that tiny little bit and then you go to work on whatever effective area you have. And the same thing for the netted dishcloth. You just use a netted dishcloth and then get a tiny little swipe. And then you would use that on your, you know, whatever your affected area is. I love using that on um, things that are hard to clean, like my coffee pots and things like that. This is a non-toxic, really strong cleaner. So it's made from marble flour, coconut oil, and natural soap. And one container of this will last you three to five years because that was just a swipe that I just showed you. And there's probably about 8,000 swipes in one container. So this will last quite some time and it replaces all those harsher, more abrasive chemicals in your home that can have a lot of negative health effects. Okay, let me put this aside. So doing dishes, I'm, these are my go-to, the netted dishcloth and the Spiri sponge, and I kind of told you why. So now I'm gonna show you the consumables we use. So I shared the cleaning paste, and that's kind of the you know muscle, the elbow grease in the jar. But what I use to do the dishes in the sink when I'm hand washing is the Norwex dish soap. And again, I just have it in one of my little dispensers here. And the Norwex dish soap is really amazing. It is ultra concentrated. You only need a little bit. There's natural fragrance in it with, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of what the scent is. It's kind of like a crisp cit citrusy scent. It's very fresh, but it's fresh and clean. Um, and it is all natural. It's non-synthetic. So synthetic fragrances do harm. They're harmful to your health and the aquatic you know, aquatic health. So um, I love that, I love the scent, but it's not too strong. It is great for glassware, china, you know, all of the things that you would need to do in your sink. Um, there's nothing that's off limits with it. And it rinses clear. So since there aren't any chemicals in our dishwashing liquid, when I hand wash dishes, like I did a few a little bit ago, I don't have to dry them off. So they're going to air dry and I sat them on my dish mat wet. I'll just turn my camera over a little bit. So I sat them on my dish mat wet and they're going to air dry, but because um, it has super wetting action, it lets the water drain off smoothly, giving your dishes a very brilliant shine. So I love that. I love that I don't have a, um, you know, I don't, I don't have some extra work and there's a neutral pH, so it's gentle on your hands. I remember, you know, in the past, my hands would crack a lot when I would do dishes and uh, when I would wear the dish gloves, that was just as bad. So I like that it also has a neutral pH, so it's, it's good for my skin as well. Okay, so let's move on to the dishwasher. And then I'm gonna tell you some shocking things on why I switched. So the dishwasher, I use Norwex Ultrazyme dishwashing powder, one little container. 
does 45 loads. I mean, this is amazing. It's an enzyme-based formula. It dissolves food and debris, not only on your dishes, but inside your dishwasher. And it's enzymes target and dissolve grease, baked on food, stains. There's no pre-soaking required. And your dishes, I know mine, have been the cleanest they've ever been. I thought I had some frosted glasses and uh, lo and behold, I started using this and realized they weren't frosted. So that's how well it cleans and it even gets through the older stuff that's been on there for a while. Um, this also rinses nice and clear. We do have a rinse aid, which I will sometimes add to the dishwasher, but in my opinion, it's not absolutely necessary. Um, and I like that I only use a tiny bit. And since this is an enzyme-based formula, that's the little scooper. Since it's an enzyme-based formula that breaks down and, you know, breaks down the proteins and dissolves those things, you can also use this in your sink if you have any stopped up drains. You can use this in your toilet if you have a plugged up toilet. Um, I've also used it in a jetted bathtub. So you just fill the jetted bathtub up with hot water, put one little scoop of this in the bathtub and it will work its way. The enzymes will work their way through the bathtub jets and tubing and start dissolving any of that um, matter that's in the that's in the jets. I know I used to hate cleaning the jets and now this does just a great job and then I just wipe it out with my Enviro cloth. So there's multiple uses for the Ultrazyme, so more than just doing dishes, um, which I think is great. So now let's talk about kind of like why I switched. So we have always been big box people. So, you know, we would go to Costco or Sam's or something like that on the weekends. We would get our stuff and we spent a lot of money on our stuff. We obviously would buy big things. So I kept this just because I wanted to be able to share it with people someday. Um, and this is actually the first time I've really talked about dishes on a YouTube video. But the reason why I switched from this product, and I do have the name covered up, um, I use this product or similar products for probably 20 years. Um, and I always like loved the commercials. They seemed very healthful. There was always animals or ducks in the commercials. And it just always made me feel like I was, you know, doing my dishes with a safe product. Well, what I learned about this is that it's anything but safe. Um, I've always been a label reader. Uh, I love reading labels, but I was only doing it with my food. I was never doing it with my cleaning products or my personal care products. So once I became a Norwex consultant, I started going down that rabbit hole and started looking into all the ingredients in our products, started learning some very shocking things. I'm going to give you a resource. It's called EWG.org, EWG.org. And it is the Enterprise Working Group. And the Enterprise Working Group is there to research and evaluate consumer products. They also do, they do cleaning, personal care, cosmetics, and they report to the public um, how toxic a product is, what chemicals are in those products, and in what effects those chemicals and products have on human health and reproductive. And so that's a great resource. They may have an app, but I usually just go to the website and type in my product and see, you know, how it's rated because I love how they rate things. They rate things from A through F, kind of like you're in school, right? So you get an A, you know, you're doing great. But a, a lot of the products, including this one, was an F. And the reason why that this rated an F is because it has a moderate to severe issues with all of the following things. And I even wrote them down so I would not miss any. So, and this is like a, maybe a third of the list, half of the list. So nervous system effects, developmental, endocrine and reproductive system issues, uh, cancer, immune system issues, circulatory system issues, kidney and urinary tract problems, respiratory issues, digestive issues, um, blood related um, issues and concerns and some concerns of vision problems. Um, there's also 
And I told you I used to love this, you know, this and other products because I would see these awesome commercials, right? With fish or ducks. And I'm like, oh, that must be a great product. I think we all kind of associate a product with what we see until we look a little bit deeper. And so what, uh, another thing I learned about this is that it's rated an F on the awg.org because of the environmental impact it has. It has a high level of concern with acute and chronic aquatic toxicity. Kind of sad for a product that I, for products and the dishwashing space that I related to, you know, being safe in the aquatic environment. And there's also some moderate concern of biodegradation related issues. So it's not exactly biodegradable the way we would want it to be. So not only am I going to tell you that, I'm going to show you. So you can, as I said, go to ewg.org, type in your product, which I did right here. I did cross out the name brand, but it will tell you what it's rated. And you see it's rated an F. And it will tell you why it's rated an F what chemicals are in it that cause the issues, like why they rated it that way, and what issues those chemicals cause in humans. And it was kind of scary because once I started taking a closer look at what I was using, I could clearly look at some of the issues that we were having as a family and tie them back to, wow, this kind of big picture that I was getting of all these products that I was using with all the chemicals in them and how they were and had been affecting our health. So this has respir so it has oxygen bleach, which is rated an F. How many times did I buy products that had whiteners and you know oxygenators and things like that? So oxygen bleach is rated an F because it has developmental and endocrine and reproductive effects. Um, respiratory issues, skin irritation, allergies, damage. Um, also it has some other, um, and there's two, I printed out, there's two pages. And what's great is it will tell you what each chemical is and in what that chemical is graded. So some chemicals could be an A, some might be B, C, D, and F, etc. And you can actually like break it down by uh, what each of those chemicals cause and then how much chemicals actually in the product. So definitely when I started, you know, learning more about this, I wanted to switch very quickly to a safer alternative with the Norwex dish liquid. So another big box product that we would always buy was our dishwasher tablets. So I've covered up the name brand here, but it does say number one brand. And so I don't know about you, but when I would shop for my family, I would always want to get the best products, the safest, the most fast acting, you know, hardworking products, right? And when I see number one brand, I'm thinking, well, you know, that's got to be a good one. So this not only is a... Uh, dishwasher powder but the one I would buy also had some dish liquid in it so I thought well I'm really going to get my dishes clean so what I learned about my um, dishwasher powder is that uh, it was also rated an F again I printed this out and you can do this yourself on your products or any other you know any uh, cosmetic products as well so I crossed out the name and this one's rated an F and it tells you why so the issues that I have with my dishwasher powder, again, ties back to a lot of the respiratory issues, cancer, acute water toxicity, uh, reproductive health issues, all these concerns. So again, print one of these out for yourself and take a look at one of the products that you are using. Um, and it's just really neat how they not only tell you what chemicals in it, but what those chemicals cause. Um, and I have done that on a lot of our products that we've switched over to Norwex because again, we're completely non-toxic home. We have zero chemicals in here. Um, so some other things that you might've seen during the video was my dish mat. A lot of people love, love the Norwex dish mat. Um, I did show you the um, sponges that I use. Um, we do have a couple other sponges that are, that are awesome. But again, I use them for cleanup. Like this is our Enviro sponge. It has a scrubby on one side and an Enviro cloth, which is that amazing cloth that 
just cleans up everything, which is great for the kitchen. It's good for little spills. So this is nice. I also like the Enviro scrub. Um, sometimes when I'm working on um, little little tiny spaces, this fits in real nice because it's thinner. This cup, the Enviro uh, sponge comes in a pack of two and the Enviro scrubs come in a pack of three. You also, I held up the netted dishcloth. The netted dishcloths come in a pack of two. Uh, we keep one in our glove box because the, everything with multi -pur everything with Norwex tends to be multi-purpose and we love that for like cleaning off the windshield or the headlights and there's a lot of bugs and they just work great for that. The dish mat that I shared with you over here, it does have backlock in it, which is great. It absorbs quite a bit of liquid, at least a quarter cup, probably more. Um, I always put my dishes on it dripping wet and I told you you know with the uh, Norwex dish liquid um, it's it works with water really well the water flows right off when it's drying and so it's not going to leave spots so I like drying my dishes on the dish mat because it will absorb up any excess liquid it's also gives my dishes a clean surface to sit on that's bacteria free of course and then dish mats come in two different colors. They come in mushroom and then this pretty graphite color. And I have kind of a brown kitchen, and so I have the mushroom, which I really love. Uh, what else? I think that might be about it in terms of what I shared with you. I did also share the countercloths in the beginning. So this is a countercloth box. The countercloths come, you can buy them in a pack of three cloths. And there's several different colors or you can get this little house which comes with six cloths and then you can fill it up with a total of 12. So we love this. This actually helped us break our paper towel habit. So a lot of great things in this video and I hope that um, I've given you some good information that you can use and definitely check out some of those resources for yourself and um, happy dishwashing. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And if you have any questions, just drop them below. And if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome day.